Hey everyone, this is Nikki with Ship Our Wedding. We're here at a pavilion today. We're set up about 126 feet of straight drapery in between these arches here, transforming the space so it can look beautiful for the event. Right now, I'll show you how to put this base plate together. Put your screw back here, and you're just gonna screw it in, just like that. Make sure it's a little tight, not too tight. So comfortable tightness. Do this for each one of your base plates and then put it at each post. Now that we've assembled all our base plates, we're gonna go ahead and put our uprights all the way around into our base plates, like this. You're gonna to wanna to do this for all your base plates. Next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is put your crossbars into these hooks here like that. You'll want to do that all the way around the perimeter of your space. Now we're going to go ahead and put our drapery over our crossbar. This is usually a 10 foot crossbar, but today we collapsed it, put it down to a seven foot. So we're going to use two pieces of fabric with the 10 foot, you would you go ahead and put four on, but today we're going to put two to give it that full look. And you're going to want to do that all the way around the space. Now that you have all your fabric on your crossbars, pull this out of here and just right here. You're gonna to wanna to grab this corner right here and pull it out. Clean it nicely, overlap it. Take your zip tie. Zip tie your two fabric pieces due to the wind. You're not gonna want these two pieces to fly apart. You're gonna want them to stay together. Rotate the zip tie, because it may not look good in photos. So it looks nice and clean. And there it is. You're gonna to wanna to do that all the way around the space. Since we are in a windy pavilion, attach tape, string, zip ties. So we're gonna attach every upright like this to the structure so it's secured. Now raise your upright like this, okay? As you can see, this is really secured. If you go this way, you have the wood, so it's secured. You go this way, you have the zip tie, which secures it. Now you're gonna to want to accordion style your fabric around your pole. Maybe you would get up like this a little bit. And then zip tie it around the pole. Maybe you want to get a good eye on it to make sure it's symmetrical and fullness and height. We'll grab. Looks good. They all look like the same height and they're also looks like it has the same fullness. Now we're gonna go ahead and attach our zip tie to the drapery on the pole. I can your zip ties around each and every pole like this. If you have some snips, you're gonna go ahead and just clip that right off. Now we're gonna go ahead and tuft our drapery as tight as possible to our base plate. Typically, we wanna cover the base plate, but since we're in a pavilion, it's a little windy, we want it to be as safe as possible. So we're gonna tuft this as close as we can. And you're gonna to wanna to do that all the way around to all your poles by the base plate. As you can see, everyone, we just finished our pavilion drapery today. We actually draped the arches right here. I do recommend adding in some bistro lighting or up lighting this package to really enhance your look. Also, if you'd like to have a second person with you just to assist you with the setup, the setup is extremely easy. It's do it yourself. It'll create a gorgeous backdrop in your photos. Transform your pavilion by visiting shipr.wedding. Plan the event you deserve. Watch more videos above. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you in our next video.